kill my tree! Take that, you prick! <laughs> oh. Are there missiles on that ship? They're not gonna shoot us with him aboard. I agree. They're going to board you. Well, they won't enjoy the experience. Neither will you. Put me on the float. My people pick me up. We go our separate ways. Mm. No one has to die. Fuck me. It's not the worst idea. We have a choose. That means nothing to them. The next time I put you outside, it will be without a suit. My people will not let this go unanswered. You kill me, they will retaliate on Ceres, on Tycho. Oh, sake. Maybe even your precious Medina station will burn. Oh, sake. Place Ashford. Now, delivery boy. Well, what? <laughs> Makes me sad. Ah, shut your mouth, or I will shut it for you. All these new systems. They don't belong. They belong to who can take them. Meaning us. Meaning us. We don't have the ships, we don't have the weapons. Mars is no longer the Mars that we used to fight. What does Mars have to do with it? Oh shit! Of course! After a long time reporting back to you. It's an old ship. <laughs> now, what did you mean about Mars? We can continue this conversation later. Assume you survive the encounter. Oh, shit. Oh. He didn't bite. I was about to try. <sighs> he did, though. We know he's. Fucking Mars. Looks like you've been getting after it. What's the occasion? Not now. Lost my job, kid. The custodial positions turn over pretty regularly. I know it's not what you want, but Bobby, you got Fuck it. that! David. Bobby's a Marine and a hero mm. to Mars. She didn't come home to be some fucking janitor. She's better than that. I don't need you to defend me, you little shit. Bobby. Sorry, I'm sorry. This is a Mariner Valley police action. Remain in place until you receive further instructions. What the fuck? Roberta Draper, oh, come on. Roberta Draper, you're under arrest for grand larceny and conspiracy to commit. We have a sworn statement from your salvage yard foreman as well as confirmation on the missing materials. Let's great. Go. Just fucking great. This is some bullshit. She's gonna be all right. She's hurt. I can hear it in her voice. Shit. Her body's not responding to the gravity drugs. She's been trying to tough it out, but it's been real bad. Oh, fuck me. I help me to Garta. I give you my word you won't be harmed. It's okay. Go. Lucia, you got a family, a husband, a daughter. You should think about them. My family over what I did.
she is battered. What is happening? So long as it's not just one of you spacing me, it's justice. What is my crime? Hmm. You killed the sojourner. Not long ago, that would have been called a victory. <clears throat> the belt has always been rich, and our wealth has always been taken from us. And now, now we are helping them. I've heard enough. A ring appears, and now we're making truces with the inners. Shit, he's good. A ring appears, so we hunt down our own kind, while ships built from ore we mine fly to planets that we can't even live on. Made an agreement with the inners to keep Medina. After all their broken promises, yeah. what makes you think that they will honor? I stole the inner ship and their cargo and gave them their people back somewhat worse for what? <laughs> you could kill me for that. Or I could forfeit the cargo that hasn't sold. And then I will sit quietly on my hands like a good little boy. Until the inners break the treaty, which they will. Well, I speak for Anderson Dawes and City Station, and I say death. Life. Wow. Golden Bell also says life. We accept forfeit. Uh oh. I speak for. We accept the Naros offer. He lives. What the fuck? Range the forfeit and call your ship. You are free to go. What the fuck? This was a mistake. Oh my gosh. We handed out a death sentence against their votes. We would have been asking for a civil war. Ugh. I did what had to be done. And if he breaks his word, he breaks it to all the factions. He will be signing his own death warrant. If we get you. Yeah. I feel we may not get another chance. Yeah. That's a go you put down and worry about it later. Oh man, this reminds me of when our, our lot got caught on the um. If we're prisoners, we have the right to legal counsel. Hey, get up! Hey, come on, hey, go! Hey. Yes! Damn it! Put him down! Is he being lost alone? Amen. Pricks. I take it you had no one else to call. Your offer, does it still stand? Still have a job on the docks? Not anymore. The position would have to be full time then. Yeah, I have options. I'm in. Yeah. This is how it happens. Oh, I hate it. The Mercury has lost his mind. What if we sent a message to Corporate HQ? If, if they knew what he was doing, they would certainly have him recalled. The security team up here has locked down all Earthbound comms. Mercury's orders from what I gather. <sighs> Seismometers you planted are still picking up tremors. Hmm. The digging machine, uh -huh. it's still alive. The readings are coming from other sources all over the continent. An epicenter pops up, starts to move, disappears. That sounds like more machines. And from the looks of these readings, a lot more. Fuck. Dr. Sarkis, I think you should look at this. Those islands are generating massive amounts of heat. What? What the fuck is going on down there? Uh -oh. I'm sorry. Tempe. I just wanted to have the choice. I don't care who we are. Just that we're together. But you're leaving. I'm coming back. Oh shit. Oh shit. Jewel! The 
this is fucking brilliant. What a wah wah wah. This had nothing to do with Naomi. She was aiding and abetting a terrorist who just killed two dozen innocent people on board my ship. You're not in charge anymore. Oh, he's not gonna say, oh shit. Oh, it's Jim. Oh my god. Holy shit. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. So we've got Jim basically saying to Mercury, you're binned. You you can't run this show, I can, which I don't think is going to go terribly well because I think Mercury is a stone-cold psychopath who will be looking now to... He's going to go into a shame spiral and then he's going to want to act on that to make sure he displaces the shame so I'm expecting him to find a sneaky shitty little way uh, to hurt Jim and everyone in Jim's proximity he's not a brave guy he's not confronted anyone actually face to face in a fair fight yet this is all sneaky tactics with this guy he is a punk and I don't care what anyone says about it even there face to face with Jim he's not fighting back he goes down like a sack of spuds and then he's gonna lick his little wounds and tr try and think of a spiteful way to get back at Jim so all round do not like that guy I assume now that means Amos is gonna be out of the clink and back in the swing of things which is good but obviously you know we've got Murtry's men why would they be loyal to Jim over Murtry unlikely so looks like we've got a little bit of a war going on on Illus. We've obviously got all the background stuff there as well. We've got three islands that are generating a ridiculous amount of heat. Don't know why. We've also got a bunch of seismic activity going on on the planet. Lots of tremors all over the place. They seem to be building up towards an epicenter and then just vanishing. So is that connected to the heat? We don't know, but that would generate heat. <sighs> We just do not know what the fuck is going on on this planet. Also, the corporate guys in space who are the scientists, the research team who are gathering this extra data, they're not able to communicate back to Earth either because Mercury's put orders on. So it's going to be very difficult unless Jim is communicating to a Vassarala direct. None of this is going to be getting back to Earth because Mercury's put the kibosh on it. So it's a proper little mess going on now on Illus. Ugh. Lucy has been shot, but I think she's okay. Um, we did have the confirmation that they did Lucia, it looks like, did the damage. I'm going to need to understand more about what exactly she did with that. Um, but I think you've still got a self-defense principle that's applying there in the sense that they have claimed the planet. And the reality of when you're claiming land is you then have to defend it against intruders. So it's it's a sticky one but we'll see how it all pans out in the end mars is in ribbons i like the way that bobby put it in the bar when she said to that guy whose name i haven't captured yet but said to him have you noticed any different anything different around here since you've been back and he's like oh in the bar she's like no the planet 
and she's absolutely right it's just that rot has set in you know it's not looking good basically for the for the future of mars and for martian society especially as all of its veterans now are coming home to find themselves without work being offered free alcohol that's going to be massively destabilizing what if they become marco and aris's army because essentially got a bunch of veterans who are going to feel absolutely done over by mars sold out completely not offered any opportunities treated like shit <sighs> they are going to be absolutely easy prey to guys like marco and aros and they've already have been so it looks like what's happening is that all of this martian equipment is going to the belt to the opa to marco and aris's faction in order to allow them to go and find a planet and i'm assuming then that will be the quid pro quo deal with the martians who are helping them is that they'll either be a part of that or they'll have a deal about you know finding their own plans when they get there whatever but they are forming an alliance essentially to take the opportunity that the ring gates are presenting and that from their perspective the sort of powers that be on primarily earth and the martian leadership are preventing them from from taking and you know whether you think that's right or wrong it is legitimate it is an ethos how successful it's going to be always to be seen but this is going to be bloody. On Earth, it looks like Nancy Gao has suffered a few, she's lost a few percentage points. I think she was on about 39% in the last episode. She's down to 34. So, you know, Avasaral is up to 64. So, you know, the gap between them is, is going to be feeling pretty secure to Avasaral at the moment, but all that can change. So be keeping an eye on that. And Avasaral at the moment just seems to be, you know, pissed. She's not hearing anything from Jim. She knows that all hell is going on up there and she's she's not heard anything back. So I'd expect kind of more interaction between them a little bit further down the road, but fucking hell, he's gonna have an update the next time that he speaks to her. Really interesting to meet Marco and Aros really like the actor i like the way that that character is being developed because they are really for me some of the most terrifying baddies it's not not the big you know it's the it's the ability to sway minds in the way that he clearly can it was kamina telling the truth to ashford when she said look there would have been a civil war now i'm saying it doesn't matter if she was covering herself or if she was doing it for the Civil War, Marco and Aros still won because he's alive. And as long as he's alive, he's a threat. And I believe he is more of a threat alive than dead. They, There is no opponent that they could fight that would be more dangerous than Marco and Aros in my book, particularly given what he's up to at the minute. So I think... If Kamina doesn't go to the dark side, she's going to regret the decision that she just made. If Kamina does go to the dark side, then obviously that's all academic. But that look on Ashford's face shows that, and I couldn't believe that they would put all of this effort into Marco and Arsh just to space him in the same episode that he turns up in. So, you know, that, that was coming, but it's still shot, it still hit me in the feels anyway when it happened because of the acting, really, you know, of David Strathairn, where he's, you know, you just see this look on his face like, are you fucking, what? What? So, interesting, interesting times ahead. And I did think for a hot minute, oh my God, Camina's fucking betrayed us. And just because I always tilt at windmills, I'm never 100% on anybody, so just don't, just don't. Please, Camilla, don't become baddie. If I didn't have the backstory on him, so I didn't have the relationship to Naomi, I didn't hadn't heard about Philip, all that stuff, 
I would probably be cheering that guy on. I'd be like, fuck it. Go for it. That's how dangerous he is. Like, you have to, like, constantly ground yourself in the reality of, like, no, he's a what. This is what he did to Naomi. And then you're like, but what, but what if Naomi... Naomi, Naomi... You know, you're like, but how long have we known Naomi? How long have we known this guy? So he's, like, dangerous. He's really, really, really dangerous. And I, I think it's going to be very exciting to watch this play out and see where it goes. No, I think that's it for this one. Um, I really enjoyed that episode. I am really enjoying this season. I love the Western effects with the duel between Jim and Murtry. That's probably one of my favourite moments, actually, in the show. I just thought that was gr really brilliantly done. I can't wait till the next episode. Until the next time, bye-bye. We've got... Um, more seismic <coughs> oh just had a sneeze attack mm -hmm.